Ethiopia. Malaysia. Mexico. India. When's your hearing? Monday. What are the charges? I'm suing a lawyer for my green card. Tortoise. Moon. Aeroplane. Sky. How do you show India? Huh. New York? Mm. How about Los Angeles? Can you show me Washington, D.C.? Man. There is a tall tower, no sir. That's why. Morning, home. Morning, Robert. Good morning, sir. Hello. <coughs> sir, your assistant didn't come today, sir. I'm his assistant. Have a seat. Keep talking, guys. I'm listening. Sir, our group has some more performances, sir. So I need a visa extension. How long? Uh, six months. And why are you applying alone? What about the rest of your team? Sir, they have their visas until next month or so. I joined the team late, so my visa has less number of days on it. Well, if you had gotten your visa later, shouldn't you have more number of days on it? Uh, so, sir, actually, I have some more solo performances, and my Guruji asked me to stay back, sir. You are not such a good liar, my friend. Lying? I, I don't understand, sir. When you asked me about my assistant, I knew you were fishing for work. What, sir? <sighs> okay. Here's an email. Here we go. Natya Dance Company, Ahmedabad. Thank you very much for your legal assistance, blah, blah, blah. Here it is. Two members of our team, Murali Ravil Pindi and Shobha Bosle, ran away from the airport in New York two days ago. We have already notified the INS. This is to inform you that we are not responsible for their actions or their legal expenses. Sir, I'll work day and night and pay your fee, sir. You mean that you will work illegally and pay me under the table? No, sir. I'll pay on the table only. Look, I might not be the right person to help you out here. Is there anything else that we can do for you today? Sir, I borrowed five lakhs to come here, sir. If I go back now, it will be very difficult. And why would I want to know all about that? You're also Indian, no, sir? Not exactly. Why? Mr. Omjit Singh is an Indian name, no? 
You know, my legal fee is $100 per hour. The next time, I'm going to charge you. Do you have a uh, big milk? Excuse me? Bigger than this? That's not milk. It's creamer. You want milk? Two percent? No, full cup. Never mind. Here is your big milk. Want the coffee? What did the lawyer say? He's too straightforward, boy. Both dartha. No guts. Unfit to be an Indian. I spent all my money. It's good that you have hundred dollars with you. Excuse me. I'll be back in two minutes, right? Hey, heroes. How are you doing? Okay? It is duty time, so tell me what is the problem quickly. What is so urgent? Tell him, tell him. Patel bhai, yesterday night there was a big fight. We heard gunshots also. We did not come out of the taxi, but what if they saw us? I never slept in a taxi before. Please move us into some apartment, no? Ray, if you're scared of such small things, how can you get a green card? See these people over here? <coughs> Suppose there is a gunfight right now, do you think they will run away? Eh, they will coolly sip their coffee. <sighs> Evening. Apartment. Guarantee. America does not want Indians. But they do need Indian labor. Railroad workers in our days, doctors in the 70s, and today, computer geeks. That's all they need. Our desi computer kids slog like donkeys to help build the US economy. But when it comes to their rights, they have to beg the immigration officers in India. Sir. Can you please allow my mother also with me? Sir, can you please allow my sons also? U.S. wants to... Okay, my grandson is here. Meeting adjourned. See you next Sunday. Go, go. Seem to have a good crowd here today. I have decided to begin house calls. Ten houses a day. I have the will and the wheels too. Well, this is what I miss most about being away from you, Dada. Then why don't you dump that white girlfriend of yours and move back home, hmm? <laughs> can't you take at least one kiss? None of these cases deserve my help. Peter, all these people are being treated horribly in that prison. Dada, if they were just immigrants, okay, living in those conditions, I would understand. But all of these guys have a criminal record. I mean, this guy here, he brought in Asian prostitutes. This guy, <laughs> this guy's a convicted drug dealer. And why, why should America allow all these criminals into the country? I had this guy who came into my office early this morning. He had some fake certificates to, as a dancer to come in here. He comes up to me and says he wants a green card. And he says he'll pay me under the table. Which country? Well, one of these desi idiots. 